Hey, there are uh, four uh, sites that are reporting extremely strong and mounting evidence um, that uh, Fujifilm is using a, a Samsung sensor in the X-T3. I'm not saying anything definitive, but uh, please check out the uh, four links below. It is a hardcore fact that about six months ago, Samsung announced that it was uh, teaming up with uh, Fujifilm to produce a new ISOCELL improved uh, sensor, but uh, Two Korean websites, as well as uh, mirrorless rumors and uh, Fuji rumors, which I'll post the links below for. One is Cleon.net and SLR Club, that uh, the Fujifilm X-T3, for a few different reasons, are uh, using uh, the uh, a modified, improved NX-1 sensor, which is a BSI sensor, uh, in the new uh, Fujifilm X-T3. Specifically also, too, it was uh, announced, or leaked, excuse me, that uh, the price of the sensor will be 70% the cost of a Sony sensor. So in keeping uh, production costs low to produce a uh, awesome yet inexpensive uh, X-T3, and not only making the X-T3 in China, but also using a, a sensor that is 30% uh, less than a Sony sensor that they're using a newly modified NX-1 sensor. Also, too, reporting that the rumor is the X-T3 is also using a Samsung sensor because the fact that it supports DCI 4K 60p 10-bit uh, 400 megabit per second uh, uh, Kodak uh, H265, just like the NX-1, and uh, it is an established fact that uh, Fujifilm has joined for partnership on future sensor development. Um, and it's also stated on the uh, Korean website that uh, uh, that uh, Sony does not support the H265 codec. That was uh, four years ago. So here's uh, four websites uh, corroborating what I was uh, getting uh, information on about four months ago that I reported on. I can't say for certain, obviously, but uh, there seems to be... A, a very significant pile of evidence that the uh, Fujifilm X-T3 is using a modified NX-1 a Samsung sensor. You know, that coupled with the fact that it is an established fact now, as Samsung has announced in partnership with Fujifilm in the production of uh, a uh, ISOCELL uh, new sensor design for uh, improved uh, image fidelity and uh, photo sites uh, information isolation so that there's not bleed over in other words where one uh, bit of information is not bleeding over and causing a uh, false information in the adjoining uh, photo sites so let's uh, find out um, no camera company um, uh, like Nikon or uh, Fujifilm ever announces who's making their sensors but uh, they all want to just want to keep that tight-lipped but there seems to be rather undeniable corroboration that it is a Samsung sensor in the X-T3. Whether that's confirmed or not, who knows, but that's, that's quite a lot. Fuji.